John from Oz General Store. Some of you may have been wondering, well, where has the XD gone to? You people have been asking for an update. Well, I'm proud to say here it is. Check this thing out. In case you haven't noticed, it's had a brand new paint job. Yeah, okay, there's still a few things that need to be fixed, but by and large, we've respayed it uh, according to the original tags. It's a gold color. What do you reckon? It looks amazing. Let's do a bit of a walk around. So this thing, um, you know, it took about two months to get a respray and we sharpened up all the lines. A good friend of mine, Pete, uh, sprayed the car and he did a lot of the bodywork. You can see how nice he's got that line over here. And this thing, I was so excited to show you guys. I, I haven't polished it, I haven't done anything. Um, it's off the gun. Okay, so we use De Beer paint systems, base over clear. I use Supreme Clear Coat, which is one of the better products De Beer uh, manufactures. And so what you see here is completely off the gun. There is a little bit of dirt in the, in the clear coat, but with a bit of a, a buff, that's all going to come out. So I thought I'd just go over it. Uh, it was late Friday night that we did the last of uh, the spray painting. And what we did was we did the sills black down below and we just fixed up the, the boot lid because he wasn't happy with it. It's, you, you guys know it's my style that I've sort of just kept the stockies. I have put the Combo Pros in the back uh, and lots of people will, are likely to say that, yeah, you need to lower it. I understand that. It'll happen just at uh, my pace, I suppose. But check that out there, the Combo Pros. I've had these for a really long time. They're originals. Um, I don't know where the centre cap is, so yeah, you see it's a little bit rusty over there, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, come on round and I'll show you what I love about this XT. We had an in-depth review last time, so I'm trying to find other things I can talk about instead of the same shit. But basically, um, what I love about these XTs, this is probably the bit here that I love most about it, just a boxy shape. I love this bit over here. Uh, the car's become quite well known. Uh, again, it's going to become a daily driver around Dandenong area, so if you see me commuting in the morning, give me a thumbs up, or give me a wave, or whatever. But, yeah, look, I've really just received a car, and I haven't done anything besides. I've put a few chrome trims on, I haven't even got around to doing the other side. It was a late Sunday, and I had other things to do. So, uh, I've got the combo photos on this side as well. I did put the front runners on. They're five inch uh, wide rims, and when I put them on, the um, the tire just looked just it looked ridiculous, especially because it's sitting up so high. So I think I'm going to get taller tires. Maybe it's going to work, maybe not. I'm not really sure. Things that I've got to do is I've got to put the chrome trims on the other side. I've done it on this side, so this bit looks complete. Um, yeah, look, you know, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with the car now. It's still running the 250 cross flow, and uh, with the bonnet scoop, it looks like a real 80s sort of type XD, one that you'll see cruising around in Dandenong around the 80s. <laughs> um, I'll probably replace these rubber trims here. They're all cracked, and I can see that they've actually disintegrated, so it's leaving a gap in between there. You don't really want to leave that for too long because the rain's going to penetrate inside the inner doors and then it's going to become rusty. So, you can see how nice the roof looks. Yeah, there's a little bit of stuff, a little bit of dirt in the clear coat, but uh, well, you know, what are you going to do? It's pretty normal. They'll come out when it's buffed. I'll probably leave it for about a month before we think about buffing it. But let's go around the front and let's have a bit of a look here. So a mere 24 hours, there was one issue that we encountered and that is that we, there was a little bit of rust uh, on the bonnet and you can see here it's bubbled up. We actually had sanded that down so it was completely smooth but probably uh, because it's exposed because of the hole being cut around there, you can see the fillers just probably raised a bit. So we'll rectify that but hey, you get that on the big jobs. <laughs> Yeah, so guys, this is an update on my XD. Uh, it's a car that I love, and um, you know, I didn't spend a lot of money on it uh, when I first got it. Now the bill's starting to creep up just a little bit, but she's a, she's a cool cruiser. The last time with I showed you the engine bay, but here it is. So I had sprayed the inside. Um, it's actually really difficult to not get dust there. I did read somebody's um, remark that yeah, look, if you tape up around it and do it sort of individually, so you do this piece first and then you do that, I just sprayed the whole thing. 
in one go. But what happens is a lot of dirt and dust gets trapped underneath uh, the inside section there. And then when you're doing it, then it blows up and then you get heaps of stuff in there. So that's something for you guys to consider next time. But basically, we're still running the 250 cross flow. Oh yeah, I love this thing. Uh, it's quite reliable. It's not that great early, early in the mornings because you're meant to uh, warm it up for five minutes or something like that. Um, yeah, basically I just get in the car, turn the key and go. And then at the first set of lights near my house, sometimes it, it conks out or uh, I pull out the choke and it feels like it's running too rich and it's just... So if you've got any tips, let me know in the comments section. But yeah, I'm not going to talk about what I've done with the engine. I feel like I've already done that. But what I want to talk about is, well, what is next for this car? Is this thing going to get a barra? Am I going to break the budget and <laughs> put something crazy in there? Am I going to put the baby 302 Windsor that was from the engine test stand or perhaps something different? But yeah, the next step is probably to remove, restore. There's no real rust around in the engine bay. There's a bit of surface rust, uh, you know, whatever. But um, yeah, where it rusted, you can see over here. Ooh, yeah. There it is, a little bit rusty there. I thought, oh, it should be right, but it bubbled on the other side, so, you know, I've got to fix that now. <laughs> bit of overspray, but, you know, I'm gonna do the door jams and everything. Oh, that is one more thing that I will be doing, the door jams. So quickly come around here, and I'll show you. So door jams, a bit of overspray of primer, and over here, you know, you can spend all day masking it up and everything, you'll still get a bit of overspray around. So yeah, look, I'll fix all that stuff in due course. You know, it's actually a lot of work to paint a whole car, believe it or not. <laughs> but you guys knew that already. The car's all painted, it's looking good. But what was it like when we were actually doing body work? I've got some footage that I want you guys to check out. Here it is in the booth. She's looking a little bit different. She's in primer at the moment, and you can see I've put the 80s uh, the hood scoop on there. We're just going back to the original color of, of gold and just give her a bit of a tidy up. A good mate of mine who's a spray painter, he's done all the body work and it's magic. I'll introduce him later on. Come for a bit of a walk around. I've just interrupted him, he's just been masking everything up and I thought I'd just quickly jump in with a quick video just for it before, you know, you can sort of see what's been happening. But uh, yeah, you know, I've probably um, been without it for about a month or two thereabouts. Come on round and just check it out. So the lines on this thing are just great, you know, they're, they're really, really sharp so I'm really excited to see, uh, see the final result. So yeah, that's a, the walk around and um, yeah, we'll see what it looks like uh, after. Here we are guys, three coats of high fuel primer in the booth and um, my mate applied a lot of bog just to sharpen up the lines there but once he had actually sanded it, uh, there wasn't actually much bog on the car and he's, there he is outside our booth and he's um, primed it again to cover all the bog and we can see here He's applied base coat. I think that's probably first coat of clear coat. There's three coats of um, base coat, three coats of clear coat. There it is there with the stockies on it. And then late night, we had uh, spraying the underside of the sill.